look lovely. Part of the process. Hey, how are you? Welcome to my neck of the woods. My name is Roxana, and today you'll finally get to meet Olivia, my hairdresser. I know I've been talking about this for a while. So today I'm gonna get my hair done. Right now I do have a root concealer, the Rita Hassan that I've talked about in other videos. One of the reasons why I haven't let my gray completely out is that in three years, I will be applying for jobs as a nurse practitioner, hopefully, fingers crossed. And I don't know if I want to apply for jobs with gray hair. I don't think society is ready for that yet. Maybe it's not society that's not ready for gray hair. Maybe it's just me being hesitant about this transition. Meet somebody who's not hesitant about transitioning to gray hair, who's already done it and is rocking it. Victoria Marie. She is doing a documentary called Gray is the New Blonde. Apparently, I'm not the only one who's concerned about how gray hair will affect the workplace and when i voiced my concern to her she said that in her work she discovered that people who are confident in their look the gray hair is not really going to impact the workplace you guys i won't lie i am struggling with editing this video but her information is down below in the description box and thank you for being patient with me doing all this voiceover in this video thanks a lot of women document not a lot there's a few women that document their great transition on youtube i don't know how exactly i came across the channels but Elisa from Montreal was the first one that I saw she was that she was documenting her journey of going from dyed hair to gray hair. I've mentioned Elisa before in other videos. I really do enjoy her videos. I, I don't even remember if the first time I clicked on it because of the gray hair or if it was because of another one of her videos she does all kinds of things that have that are related to fashion and beauty and her channel is going to be linked below elisa in one of her videos talks about the challenge of finding a hairdresser that w is willing to help us transition from dyed hair to gray hair Fortunately, that's not the case for me. Olivia was totally up for the challenge. She works out of this magical place called Phoenix Suites where there are these long corridors with doors on the right and on the left that offer all kinds of services. Get your mind out of the gutter. We're talking hair, nails, and maybe a massage or two. I do like this place that is different than the traditional hair salon because it is quiet it's just me and her no interruptions i can get my hair done and go home and go to sleep usually it's in the morning first appointment when i get my hair done after working all night long you might want to check her out if you're in the gwinnett area in georgia her place is called grace studio salon and without further ado let's meet olivia hey hon hey. hi olivia this is olivia she's hi. my hair and we're gonna have fun that's mm -hmm. for sure yeah. Um, we're also going to um, bring some low lights and dark low lights to blend your gray. Mm -hmm. um, and, I'm, mm -hmm. um, and I'm also thinking about maybe just in the front where you have, um, you know, your hairline. Yeah. To put like a slice of silver in there. That way oh, it blends. You can do that. Mm -hmm. That's yep. awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it'll That's look way good. cool. Yeah, and it's going to look really good. Okay, cool. Let's get it done. Let's get it good. <laughs> And here is the end results. I am loving what Olivia did to my hair. I like this light color where the gray is peeking through. It's not drastic delineation between the gray and the and the dyed hair and yeah, I'm just loving it and I so thank Olivia for helping me through this process. 
Listen, I drove Olivia crazy these last few days. I kept on texting her, what did you do to my hair? And she told me like 50 million times. And then I'm editing the video and sure enough, here she is on film telling me exactly what she did to my hair. She is wonderful to put up with me and this whole thing and letting me film her. Started having gray hair when I was 19 years old and didn't dye it until I was in my late 20s, early 30s, and that was not to cover the grays, but just because I was um, bored. In my mid 30s until just recently, I was dyeing my hair to cover my grays, and I was kind of surprised that it was to cover my grays because usually I have a really easygoing attitude about everything and anything. Um, I've debated before to let my gray shine, and as many of you know, the reaction is no you're going to look old if this is what old looks like i think i look good what do you guys think again i'm really liking my hair now you can see there is quite a bit of gray it's it's pretty gray and it's been like this for years i mean i would have to ask olivia if it's been like this for uh, for how long it's been like this i think it's been like this even before i started going to olivia but i just want to show the process of it and i was trying to do all kinds of things in this video then i realized wait a minute this is a process it's gonna take many years so i can so i can talk about products and other things as the months go by a month from now i might decide to do something a little different with it i doubt it i'm really liking my hair but from looking online i hear that um, women who go through the uh, transition there's some days they're loving it and some days not so much if you're new to my channel, I end all of my videos where I tell you something that I'm grateful for and I encourage you to look back on your day and see what went right in your day. What went right in my day, today and yesterday? I have great hair. That is what I'm thankful for. Okay, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Here is a sneak peek of what it's going to be and it is my single swag okay take care bye bye i'm not sure how this nose thing it keeps coming undone but anyway this this is the boutonique beauty radiant five piece mask set